Christmas If I didn't show up, he wouldn't give back my Game Boy. And I need to beat Pokemon. I invited over a hundred people and... Where are you and how do you know Austin? Well, my name is Judas and I'm 2019 years old. And I met, you know, Austin through the bank. He was taking out some silver. And I wanted to know the guy really well. Like really, really well. It appears that one, two, three, four, five, six people showed up, so... Yeah. Woo! How are you and how do you know Austin? Um, I don't know Austin. I am Austin. I'm also named Austin. Are you named Austin? Yeah. Okay, my name's Austin. I don't know where I am. What, what's your last name? Oh, uh... Austin, son. Austin, Austin, son. What am I doing here? Yeah, uh, you're, well, you're supposed to be, you know, uh, here for a lecture. Oh, uh, okay, cool. So, so who are you and how do you know Austin? Oh, um, I'm able, although I have this condition where I read things like mirror, so it might not be able, just no one's told me this entire time, so I just go by able. Um, I, I'm sorry, you said Austin? Yes. I have no idea who that is. Honestly, I kind of fell asleep in the theater, like, last week, and I've just been here ever since. I'm Ryan. I'm, uh, 24 years old. So I met Austin, uh, we were on a tour team together, hashtag 2016. Uh, yeah, he told me about this, this, like, book thing. I don't like to read, but, you know, I like to listen. So, who are you and how do you know, you know, Austin? Gabriel's horn is blowing. Can't you hear? I couldn't even hear what you said. The sweet sounds of death caress this world. Can't you hear? The angels are singing. Our time is near. Life is nigh. Run for your blood! <laughs> Well, that's just a bunch of characters, isn't it? So, when you hear the name Virginia Woolf, what's the first thing you think of? Wolves. I mean, it's not wrong. Yes, uh, Douglas? Uh, well, when I think of Virginia Woolf, I think of... West Virginia, ma 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 ma. That's not. No. We, we we can't. That that's gonna be copywritten. Thanks a lot. Oh. Um. When you say Virginia Woolf, I think of this uh, really 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 funny knock knock joke. Oh, I love knock knock jokes. I'm not allowed to tell it. I'm legally obligated to not be able to tell it. 
Looks like you've locked the door on this knock knock joke. A lot of interesting answers, but what you should be thinking of when you hear the words Virginia Woolf, you wrong people, is author. Virginia Woolf is an author. She's a British author. And she's known for this sort of stream of consciousness style of, of writing, where everything's just sort of flowing from one person's mind to the other. Uh, so this lady, Mrs. Um, developer, she's actually like a stream and a river that Lewis and Clark went down. It was really cool. Uh, there's a fever. <laughs> and yeah, it's very innovative for, the, for her time. I finally got to read this book. This is a really great book. Especially it's about the Trojan history of how condoms were made. Yeah, I guess. And Ver... And a verb Lou is my favorite. I mean, like, it's such an interesting book. My gosh. Stream of Consciousness. Man, that is just my life. I relate to this book so much. Oh my gosh. Lou, you're doing a great job. I don't know where you are or who you are, but you did a great job, Flu. I think what what needs to be done is I need to read you a certain passage from the book. Maybe then you will understand the significance of, of the novel. As for Buckingham Palace, like an old prima donna facing the audience all in white, you can't deny it a certain dignity he considered, nor despise what does, after all, stand to millions of people. A little crowd was waiting at the gate to see the king drive out. For a symbol, absurd though it is, a child with a box of bricks could have done better, he thought. Looking at the memorial to Queen Victoria, whom he could remember in her horn spectacles, driving through Kensington, its white mound, its billowing motherliness, but he liked being ruled by the descendant of Horsa. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it? Spectacles. <laughs> After Austin finally read the passage, I finally got it! So the story is not about condoms, stupid me. It's about how to get every Pokemon in Pokemon Go, with the shinies included, plus the rare but ultra rare epi the band episodes Pokemon. Pokemon. What's the big deal about Pokemon? Okay, Boomer. <sighs> I'm just not getting through to these people. What do I have to do to get them to understand it? Oh, I got it. Montage.
book now? Yeah, I mean, my... Bro, my, my notes, they're amazing. I finally understand it. <laughs> so, now that Austin has lectured you, do you feel like you know Mrs. Dalloway at all? I think, I think I understand everything better. I think, I think I've figured out the secrets of life and how to make the most magical substance of all. I believe it's called... Oledge? Or is it... You know, I think some people have told me it's called Jello. actually. I had no idea. I just... I just wanted to make it for so long. And I feel like understanding this book is gonna let me make it, finally. Judas, do you feel like you uh, understand Mrs. Dalloway now? Yes. I understand her completely now. I live through the same trouble. Uh, especially as possessing the same. I can't get laid. As, as she can't either. You know what? I'm done. That's it. I'm done trying to teach this to people who do not want to be taught. All right, you know what, guys? It's clear that you don't want to understand what this means. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my professor on Monday and tell him that you all understood this book and that I can teach things. My bro. Uh, yes, uh, Brother Doug. Dougie Boy. Dougie Fresh. Uh, yeah. Did I get my Game Boy back? No! Okay. My Game Boy. It's my fucking Game Boy. When you can't have what your heart wants And the nights can move so slow And there's nothing to hold on to And you still can't let go Stream of consciousness writing style is really captivating. It keeps me planned on every page, trying to understand what she's trying to say about the story. And 
she just has these beautiful lines, like OK and R and all these beautiful, beautiful words. So, what are spectacles? Why are spectacles? What is it that makes them let us see clear, yet we still don't understand the world? I don't know. I need, I need something to help me understand this. Why are spectacles? This doesn't help. <laughs> 